Eric Mothers, Mother, Mother com with about 40 minutes to go before the close of the week and close of the session. Today being an options expiration week and going into a long holiday weekend. Let's take a look here and markets are trading, let's call it about one point change percent to the upside in what has been a very successful week for the general market. Take a look here. S&P 500 as an example for the week right now is showing a gain of about close to 3% and what is now four weeks of back-to-back -back gains in the market which is exactly what the bulls were crying for and did get out of the market after this recent market drop. So a good recovery leg for the market. Of course the question is always going to be what is the next major short-term swing direction? And of course, it goes without saying that's the question all of us are trying to answer. Those of us who came looking and expecting for a market pullback this week were pretty much put on the back burner and watched the market creep to the upside. Pretty much, I believe, with the daily gains throughout the course of the week. And now we are faced with another question. What to do here? Are we going to see a market continue grinding to the upside? Or at some point, do we start seeing a pullback to retest some of these lows here? And that's pretty much what this video is going to try and address. So one of the things here on a weekly basis, in my opinion, the market is coming back now is to test the 50 RSI level. You can see we broke below that level here, came back and tested it and failed, came back, tested it here and failed, and now we are back in that general area. That is not to say that it cannot move above this level. There is nothing stopping the market from retaking and reclaiming the level above RSI 50 on the weekly. But we also know that if this happens to be another area of resistance, then now we are looking for a market that is going to be on a pullback mode to test some of these lows here on a weekly intraday basis. Those would be logical areas of a target if there's a pullback to take place in the market. Even if eventually it goes higher, there's always going to be pullbacks, especially after you've seen a back to back to back to back weekly gain since the lows of late 2018. If you go back to the weekly highs here, remember we had observed that there was a stall point and a rejection at the 69.1 level. And then what happened is coming into the recent lows on a weekly closing basis, we come here and see the exact opposite behavior, which is RSI 30.9 support and it is my belief now we are back to test oops, the 50 RSI level which is going to determine the next meaningful direction. If we take a look at the daily we can see on the daily for the S&P 500 right now where the RSI is trading is coming back to test this breakpoint which gave us a break off the highs This area was tested and failed, tested and failed, and now we are coming here. And of course, what happens here will determine the next meaningful day-to-day short-term direction. And there's also another line that we can draw, which connects the previous lows. Should be something like that. You can see the line connects the lows here. And here we see a break of the highs there. Resistance on the line of those daily highs. Resistance on the line of that daily closing high. And now here in the same area, again the question is, are we going to stall or are we going to break out? Of course, we know that if we clear this level to the upside, clear those two lines, then this market has a chance 
to continue higher. And we also know that day to day, should we stall around here, then that would suggest again that there is a possibility, good odds, that the market is going to have to pull back day to day to test some of these lows that it's been making along the way. If we take a look at the two hourly for the S&P 500, I will propose that one way we can view this and the reason why market's trading while it's trading here and the RSI stalling around here could be explained if we take a look at a back test line. And what this line gives us is it gives us the break point after establishing this support here, here, and here. It led to a break here of the highs. Yeah, right there. And then we see uniform activity rejection above the line and back below it. Off the highs there. Uniform activity above the line back below it. Off the highs there. And now we are back to the same line, back testing it. As of right now, the market has hit that line, seems to be pulling back. So hour to hour, that's the level to watch. Nothing is stopping the market from taking out this line. If it does, you can see another, or we will see another explosion in price. If this turns out to be the resistance area where the market is unable to recapture the level above the blue line, then we are going to start drifting lower. So with about 30 minutes to go, that concludes the free portion of this video. The rest of the video is for paid Moade.com subscribers. So for paid subscribers, let's continue on.